where my fire starters at. GSTV back with another fire flame meltdown. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Stop, step, and stand all over that notification bell when you want the latest. If you ain't a fire starter, hawker, walker, or stalker yet, what you waiting on, family? Come on over here and subscribe because we stomp, step, and stand on real morals and traditional principalities and ain't nothing morally sound about a dead man's mama. Okay, and his op literally going back and forth. Now, peep the game, fire starters. Hit that like button, flame the comment section up because it's about to get hot. Now, we all done heard about the concert that was canceled in Tampa, the Back to the Streets bash that was canceled in Tampa, where Ace was set the bill. When Ace was added to the card, when Ace was added to the lineup, everybody was excited, everybody was fanatic about it, everybody was going crazy. But not only was they going crazy, they was going crazy for the simple fact that it was in Tampa. Hit the like button, tear the comment section up. That's right. People was like, yo, the situation with Julio Fulio just happened in Tampa. And literally, he's going to come to Tampa and do a concert? Basically, that was a slap in the face, but a lot of people don't know, okay? This may be a work by Sandrika, because a lot of people don't know. Pay attention as this concert was set for the date of September 20th, y'all. Hit the like button. Here we go. And a lot of people ain't paying attention that this Demi Guy album by Julio Fulio is set to be to be released on the 23rd of September and actually if you think about it if Young and Ace would have went to Tampa and did that concert and then shot right back up to Jacksonville okay to do the other shows and actually playing these type of songs like oh um, this is Bibby this is Julio oh um, you don't want no war, game over, and that's not my problem, problem, yeah, but let's get into this, let's go. Jacksonville police and shit. I don't know how they be doing this, but they always, they always, always calling around to cancel my shows. What's up with y'all? What's going on? Why y'all want to cancel my show? I don't even live there in Jacksonville. Why y'all want to cancel my show? Why y'all trying to f*** up my money? Yeah, man, y'all trying to f*** up my life. Because y'all worry about what I got going on. I ain't dying. I ain't, I ain't f***ing with y'all. Y'all y'all better leave me the f*** alone. Hey, yeah, real shit, though. Nah, for real, though. I'm going to keep it being, though. Y'all cancel all my shows, but I just had a show in Temple. Y'all got my show canceled in Tampa. I had a show in Virginia. I called, got my show canceled up. I mean, I had a show in Gainesville. Y'all canceled my show in Gainesville before. Daytona. You feel me? Like, what's really going on? Like, what's up? Why y'all keep canceling my shit, though? Like, y'all think I'm a problem? <sighs> y'all making me bad. Hey, chill out. You okay? Y'all making me bad, bro. Y'all be canceling, Jacksonville police be canceling my shows and shit, making shit bad, bro. Shit embarrassing. Nah, they be, not nah, for real, they be canceling their shows, fucking up in their money, though, bro. They gotta stop doing that shit, bro. That shit bad, bro. I ain't fucking up y'all money. I ain't fucking up y'all life. Why y'all trying to fuck my shit? I don't, I don't. Okay, and like I said, fire starters, hawkers, walkers, and stalkers, a lot of people are saying, Okay, behind the scenes that Young and Ace and literally Sandrika, Julio Fulio's mother, is literally going back and forth at each other, taking subliminal shots behind the scenes. Now we on fire. As we see, okay, we know Sandrika, Julio Fulio mother, is literally running, okay, Julio Fulio's Instagram. And right around the time when the situation came out, when, um, Younger A show gets canceled. 
in Jacksonville. Look what Sandrika puts up on the Julio Fulio story. All right, the show must go on, okay? Haters are my best marketing tools, and it's free. Y'all in the comments worrying about it's 7 a.m. and me posting. I'm not still listening. Y'all ass whatever over here. Sit, sit your ass down. Go stream the album, okay? As we see that she is promoting the album. And like I said, y'all, I'm hearing on the back end. Because we know that Sandrika is actually close with the Jacksonville Police Department, okay? All right, so I'm hearing also that she also is playing a part in Younger Ace being blackballed in Jacksonville and possibly, okay, pulling some strings for him to be blackballed from a lot of other concerts and lineups that he is booked for. Now, peep the game, all right? Now, Younger Ace said, fuck all that. If I can't get no love in my city, all right, I'll go to another city and get some love, man. As he goes, one one, 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 one. I told him to go and step harder on this bitch. I told him to run harder on this bitch, nigga. Yeah. Ball game, nigga. Ball game. The dollar what they call me, nigga. Bitch, I run this shit like that. So as y'all can see, he said, if I can't get no love from my city, if I can't get no real support from my city, if nobody ain't going to go out there in the streets and actually protest for my name, okay, and actually stand for my name in the city and everything I've done for Jacksonville, okay, I'll go to another city that will accept me. As we see, he makes his way to Body More. And for the ones who don't know what Body More is and what that's all about, that's the city of Baltimore, Maryland. Hit the like button, tear the comment section up because we already know how they rocking up there. And let's not forget, okay? Younger A say he control his own destiny, okay? He stay in the trenches, all right? And I kind of, I find it very odd and very strange that with this post he put up he has these visuals going in the background with him walking through the hellfire now like i said a lot of people don't know about these subliminal messages as younger ace just dropped another diss track y'all hit the like button tear it up as he raps over the beat problems he disses bibby he disses julio he disses so many even sandrika herself he said when his mama got hit with that thing that wasn't my Problem, problem, problem. When his mom got hit with that shit, that went my problem. Hold on. Pulling out and got hit. Younger Ace sin the subliminal sneak disses. Dissing Julio, dissing all the ops and the dead men, and even Sandrika herself, man. And this is why I said, this is why she made the post. Haters are my best marketing tools, and it is free. Y'all in the comment section worried about me? Go sit your ass down, okay, and just stream the album. As we heard, Ace said, yeah, I'm getting rich off the dead. That's my problem, problem. And I had to literally slow the track down so we won't get copyrighted. But listen, man, I ain't gonna cap. That's a hot little catchy song, man. As he rapped over, okay, someone else is beating. It's catching a little bit of fire in the streets. But you know how we going to catch fire? Peep the game. The Florida rapper Julio Julio was shot and killed in Tampa overnight. We need to do this again next year. Yeah, that's love, bro. I'm gonna be here for sure. I ain't gonna know. I'm a demigod. Man. You can't get me. Okay. Now, what's going to shock all about this? Okay. This back to the streets tour that was canceled, y'all, at the Yingling Center in Tampa was literally right 
down the street, man. Literally a couple doors down from where Julio Fulio literally got killed at, y'all. Hit the like button, tear the comment section up because it is crazy. And not only is it crazy, man, okay, these people in Tampa, these people at the Yingling Center, these promoters, and everybody was aware of the situation as they put this on the Yingling website. You may know that Julio Fulio was murdered right up the street from us. And we've been made aware that Ace is rumored to have gang ties to the group that was involved with the shooting. Gangs, ATK and KTA. We're concerned about security around the venue and in the area, seeing how recent all this happened. There's also a duty we have to USF to make their police aware of the information if Ace is indeed coming. So listen, y'all, what I'm hearing on the back end, all right, the show didn't get canceled. Ace didn't get kicked off of the show. Ace took himself off of the show because the police was going to be present. They were going to be waiting on him. and ain't no telling what they were going to do to set him up, to try to harass him, try to plant something on him or the gang. But let's not forget, y'all, okay, as this situation has took place with Julio Fulio in Tampa, all right, Younger Ace and ATK has been constantly... Constantly, you know what I mean, in the media, constantly on social media websites, constantly, okay, getting pulled over by police, going back and forth with people, okay, members of the group are getting arrested, coming back out, getting arrested, coming back out. Not only that, we're seeing them all on social media shows, okay, ATK versus 200 women and things like that. We're seeing Ace all over interviews and shit like that. And like I said, man. All right, Ace said, if I can't get no love from my own people, I'll go to Baltimore and get some people that really support me. But the crazy part about this, y'all, peep the game, as literally when they cancel the show in Tampa, all right, just like that, okay, at a snap of some fingers. Okay, Ace is added to a full-blown tour, y'all. Hit the like button, tear the comment section up. A 42 Doug tour. And as y'all see, all right, November the 3rd, okay, they're coming to Orlando, Florida. November the 4th, they're coming to where? Ebor City in Tampa, Florida. Okay, so listen, this will... This is going to be interesting how this is going to play out, y'all. All right, y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm also hearing on the back end that Ace will be taken off of this show, too. Remember where y'all heard it here first. And like I said, man, I'm hearing that Sandrika is behind the fact, okay, that Ace is not able to do any shows in Tampa right now due to the fact of this demigod promotion and this demigod album all right and it actually makes total complete sense because why have ace perform in the city and try to tarnish and try to taint and diminish the promotion and the release of this album all right but y'all let me know what y'all think especially about this situation man as we see the tour the show that he literally was about to do that got canceled. But I'm hearing that he got, he took himself off of the show. Was literally right down the street from where Julio Fulio got killed, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe. Always remember, fear the fire and fear the flames. And I find it very odd and very strange that his mama is actually, you know what I mean, insisting and thinking about using this demigod situation as promotion for dead people, as promotion for the dead, as we see the all seeing eye, the one eye symbolism going over the red eye. We see it with Young Thug in the slime season. We see it with Lil Dirt, okay, with the almost hill. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Always remember fear the fire, fear the flames. God fear. Build the fire.